After several years of delays, Boeing has the green light to finally launch its Starliner tonight at just after 10.30 p.m. Eastern. The spacecraft is scheduled to blast off from Florida on a trip to the International Space Station carrying humans for the first time. We spoke last week to two veteran NASA astronauts who will be aboard this historic flight. There's no better view of our beautiful planet than from space. I wish everybody had the opportunity to take a, a lap. I think we'd all be a lot nicer to each other if we did that. <laughs> and it's just incredible and you know changes your perspective about really what's important. CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, Mark, this is a very exciting time for everyone, especially for those astronauts who get to go on this flight. It's finally happening, though it's happening after a series of difficulties. What are the issues uh, related to that delay of seven years? Hey, Lily, yeah, ex exciting for the astronauts, exciting for Boeing, exciting for NASA. But let's face it, it's taken a long time uh, and a long and winding road to get to this point, to this big moment. They were just a, a, an almost a, a seemingly endless series of setbacks. Um, they had severe software issues. They had parachute issues. They had, they had uh, jam valves. They had nearly a mile of uh, tape that snaked inside the capsule that they suddenly worried was potentially flammable. All of that came one delay after another, and in all, nearly seven years of delays, cost overruns of more than a billion dollars. So if tonight goes well, these a lot of hardworking folks have really earned that moment, but it's been very frustrating at the same time for everybody involved. It's impossible to uh, talk about Boeing, think about Boeing, and ignore all of the issues that have uh, arisen from their, uh, from their airplanes, not spacecraft. So how confident is NASA about this flight? Does it believe that Boeing now has all of those issues under control? And I mean, is this part of the conversation? It's definitely part of the conversation. I mean, I've talked to the astronauts uh, on this flight. They're confident. I've talked to Boeing. Boeing says it's confident and, and NASA is, is clearly in an oversight role here, but at the same time, they're taking their cues from Boeing and from uh, all the engineers involved with this project, essentially saying, we really think we're ready now. And so we're, we're about to find out. But I mean, everybody involved is saying the, the same thing, which is we weren't going to fly this thing until we were sure that it was safe. Mm -hmm. And we believe now we have reached that point, that it is safe and that all systems are go. Uh, and as long as the weather holds and we have about a 95 percent go for launch in the weather department, uh, as long as the weather continues to stay true, uh, we should be good for launch tonight. And uh, Mark, it's also, as we mentioned, the first time humans will be aboard. So what are they expected to handle within the uh, Starliner during the flight? Well, Starliner, Boeing's capsule, is a, an autonomous vehicle. That is, it mostly flies itself with the help, obviously, of computers. Um, but there is a manual con some manual options. The, the uh, two astronaut crew is going to uh, take, the, take over control at different points of, on the uh, flight uh, to make sure that the manual systems also work. They will also uh, be engaged with the uh, docking uh, to the space station. So uh, lots for them to work on. They're not, they're not so sitting hands there off. going for a ride. They, 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 no, not yeah. so hands, not completely hands off anyway. Thank you so much, Mark. Appreciate it. Talk soon.